What is Sarah Liftoff? Well, first of all, you'll get acquainted with me, but that may not be the main reason why you want to watch Sarah Liftoff. It is my success formula online. It's basically nine different chapters that goes through my success formula. I'm very systematic in what I do. I've been known for aesthetics, but yet the the power of my aesthetics comes from my fundamental restorative dentistry, which goes way, 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 way back to dental school with gold. And I've used a lot of those principles, not prep style, but the steps that I do so I can be very productive. So let's go through this. Chapter one is more for the new user. Now this site is for both veterans and new users. And what I mean by veterans, well, we've had clients on the site that have had the CEREC over 10 years and they love it. It's more like training camp. Even professional athletes go to training camp every year so they can get juiced up for the season and get, keep their skills at the highest level. And that's what CEREC Liftoff is all about. So chapter one is more of an introduction of the working screen so we can get the nomenclature and the culture of CEREC thinking down in our brain. Chapter two starts off with prep style. 80% of our success happens in chapter two and chapter three. How you prepare and how you scan. In other words, the information that goes into this machine will dictate how your restoration is going to see. You can't work it out in the software outside of your parameters. So the software should be the easy part for us. But yet a lot of times that's where we spend all our time. So let's back up for a moment. It's how we prepare. So chapter two goes through the various preparation options and principles to make an ideal preparation because when the camera takes an image of that preparation it's a mirror reflection on the internal surface of your ceramic which is what seats on your preparation so we want to be sensitive to how the ceramic mills so we know how to prepare and then taking the optical impression with the principles so we don't get distortion in our virtual dye is really critical and then chapter four is our design chapter for post to your teeth What's neat about this chapter is that I divide it up into different type of design techniques. For instance, we have partial coverage techniques, we have full crown techniques, we have quadrant techniques. With each design video that I demonstrate, you can download your CEREC CDT file, which means the case that is being designed on the screen can be designed on your own CEREC. We have users that will use a large screen on their desktop, usually in their office. You can upload your CEREC software to that. And so you can create two windows, as you see on your screen right now, and you can design right along with the video. Now notice the videos come in high definition as well. So the videos will recognize your iPad and play on your iPad. It will recognize most type of uploading speeds. But for your high definition, it works really well if you have a nice quick uh, line to your internet service. So uh, I really encourage you to use high definition. You'll see a lot more in the design video. So that's chapter four. Now chapter four will always keep growing as applications apply. We also have another anterior uh, design in chapter nine, but I'll get to that in a moment. So after chapter four, which is our design, virtual design chapter, we have what we call block selection chapter. In other words, how do you choose your materials? How do you mill? Uh, how do you optimize that result? And so that's chapter five. Chapter six is the finishing process. Whether we're polishing, whether we're staining and glazing, or whether we're using Emacs, it's all there. In fact, chapter six in itself would be worth the cost, or maybe I should say investment, of CEREC liftoff. Uh, because that's, that's where you take it from a C to an A. The restorations look great out of the unit. How you finish them shouldn't take a lot of time if you know the steps. So you go through the same steps every time and it's right there. Now chapter seven is kind of what I call my deodorant chapter. And what I mean by that, that's the adhesive chapter. I've spoken in rooms around the world and asked how many get post-op sensitivity. You know, that's not a question you want to ask to a large group because that's a very vulnerable response. I've had it. I've been doing dentistry for over 25 years and I know what it's like to have post-treatment sensitivity on a full quadrant 
of composites. Notice I said, that's for my Kiwi and Australian buddies. Composite is now my new word. And that's no fun. So technique is critical. I go through various techniques for type of adhesive applications. Full etch, uh, self etching, and also the seating aspects of how we place our resin, clean up our resin, and cure and tack and polish and all that. So it's all, it's all there. It's all there in chapter seven. Chapter eight deals a little bit more with what do you do once the Cerec's in. It deals with um, troubleshooting. Uh, it deals with communication to our clients, uh, principals, and also taking care of your MCXL. You gotta change the oil in your MCXL, meaning that you gotta change the lubricant, you gotta maintain it so it purrs like a kitten and gives you great mills. Chapter nine is a really fast developing chapter. In fact, I get a lot of questions for chapter nine. Chapter nine is about introduction to anterior serex. And we deal with the basic principles that the hot part of that chapter is the finishing. In other words, shaping, surface texture, how to add that incisal effect without cutting back, and then how to do what we call post glaze polishing. Yes, that's called superficial gloss finish. That can take a ceramic and just melt it in the mouth, knowing how to impact the reflective and deflective surfaces on ceramics. So it's all there. And chapter nine has design elements as well for full crowns, for veneers. We're gonna add a few more uh, veneer cases in there, even though we are creating a whole nother book called Mastering Anterior Aesthetics by yours truly. Uh, we're working on that and that will be up in the near future. So this is a rundown of what Sarek Liftoff has to offer and we've had incredible responses from around the world on it. Thank you for the responses. We like the good and we like also the critiquing responses because we're here to serve you and we want your feedback so we can always optimize the site for you and your learning because we learn right along with you. So I hope this video has given you an insight to what this could be for you and we'd like to invite you to become part of our Sarah community on Sarah Cliftoff, because uh, you can take me home with you. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said it that way, but uh, in other words, I'll be with you all the time.